Okay, today's video is going to be about a carburetor off of a Yamaha Bravo 250. It's a key in carburetor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tune this correctly. Float level and your idle air screw. Um, so let's get down to it. The factory settings on this carburetor show that what you need is 15 millimeters. After you go through and clean it, I already took this all apart, cleaned all the jets out, all the passages, blew it with the compressed air carburetor cleaner. Used a Q-tip underneath the float needle um, to clean out that a little bit. It really wasn't that bad, so what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to show you the float level. Now what you're looking for is, if you take the carburetor and you let the float hang like this, right? And then you let it close, you're looking from here to the top of the float. 15 millimeters plus or minus two millimeters so i've got one of these that i got at lowes for two bucks and they work fantastic i'm set at 15 millimeters right now it's also equivalent to 19 30 seconds we're going to measure right on the bottom right to the top of the float and that's within a millimeter that's pretty good so we're good like that now your other adjustment is this right here to screw on top right there now after you clean it all out lube this up send it home seat it very lightly all the way when it's seated you will be able to see the tip of it inside here there's a little tiny tip you'll see poke right through after you seat that you want to back that out one and a quarter turns before you start adjusting now what you'll do is, when you finally put this back on the carburetor, and I'll show this in another video, when you put this back on the machine, uh, you want to bring your idle up to about 2,000 RPMs. Once you have it set about 2,000 RPMs, you're going to back this screw out a quarter of a turn at a time. What that's going to do is it's going to lean the mixture out on your engine, and it's going to increase the idle speed. So as we back that out, what we're after is the highest engine idle speed. You want, you want to do this when your vehicle is completely warm. And once we get the, the idle to react to this screw until it won't do it anymore, when this is backed out enough, where, where backing it out any further does not increase the idle of the machine, that's when you want to back it in about an eighth of a turn and you want to drop your throttle stop screw you want to crank that out until your engine drops down to about 1100 RPMs and that's when you know you get your carburetor dialed in perfectly and we'll go through that on another video but the pilot air screw one and one quarter turns out from lightly seated to start it off float level 15 millimeters sitting on an incline like that you want it to just close the valve. You don't want it to compress the needle, the spring inside the needle. And that's how you set up one of these carburetors. And if you can do that, you're going to be in really good shape when you go to fire it up.